Plant Pals, my name is Tatiana, your NYC Plant Mama, and today I am going to DIY and spray paint some of my plastic pots ultra matte white. I have a bunch of these green pots, I'm sure you've seen them in all of my videos, and I got these from my boyfriend for, maybe it was a holiday or my birthday or something, I don't know, it's been like a year. I have been using these green pots, I think the green is super cute, but I've noticed a lot of my plants don't pop in the green because of the green leaves, so there's not like a lot of contrast there, it kind of, I think, detracts from how the plants look. And although I like them on my balcony and think they look really cute, I think it's time to just spray paint them white and go with a neutral color for the rest of my plants. So the color scheme in my apartment for pots right now has turned into black, terracotta, like reddish, and now white. So I had green before, but I think the white will just be more neutral and let the plants stand out on their own. I actually tried this out I have a bunch of pots. As you can see, I have little green ones. I have these two big green ones. So I have a lot of pots and I actually tried this on two pots last weekend in the freezing cold and I just couldn't record because it was raining and it was horrible and it went terribly wrong and I smudged everything. But then they dried and they looked fine. So like, I'm just gonna do more of them. I don't know how much spray paint I have left. So I'm gonna start with these little pots and just go from there. But I basically spray painted one of these big pots and then a pot that was in between this size. So like I said, I have a ton of these pots. Let's just get started. <laughs> I've got my spray painting clothes on because last time I did this, I it went horribly wrong. I got spray paint all over my clothes. I got spray paint all over the balcony. So that's why I have a tarp up now. And last time my tarp fell on the pots I was spray painting. So anyway, I'm using an ultra matte white rust-oleum painter's touch i don't know i got it at target also bonds the plastic i made sure to get that and it is a paint and a primer it works on wood metal plastic and more i found that it's pretty hard to spray paint something round because you can't set it down but that looks pretty good Okay, that was pretty good actually. Now I gotta do the inside. So I don't care if the inside's not perfect, I just want to do like a general rim so that the inner rim is done. Oop, I just got dirt all over the bottom, whatever. The tarp started to fall. I'm kind of nervous. Oh God. I'm gonna put dirt here to hold it down. I have two buckets of dirt. I'd be careful, wear paint clothes for this. My hands are already spray painted. Look at my nails. You could also do this with like black or whatever color you want, obviously. So I'm kind of lazy and I didn't clean out the pots. There's still dirt inside. So the paint job's not perfect. It really isn't. And I put these pots on the outside so it picks up some of the paint that I spray. It's not as windy today, so this is a lot easier. Maybe you're supposed to wear a mask when you do this. Oh God, is this toxic with lead? Should I be wearing a mask? Yo, I'll be right back. Shit. Should I be wearing a mask when I do this? Why? I don't know, I just read something about toxic. <laughs> oh, from spraying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you probably should. <laughs> I was wearing a mask, but I, I just wore like a regular, I don't think oh a my actual God. mask really protects you. I don't know. Like, are you supposed to wear like a gas? <laughs> Jeez, I was just breathing the fumes in. Wear a mask, guys. I don't know why I just started doing this. I mean, at least it's open air out here, but I just read like toxic on this can, so be careful. I have my N95-ish mask on. Woo! Good thing we have all those masks handy, am I right? And the problem is I get like fidgety with them, so then I start touching them and then I leave fingerprints, so. Let's just move on. 
Maybe I should be doing it this way. No, then how will I get the inside? You guys will let me know if I miss the spot, right? Oh, well, kidding. Ah! I, it gets everywhere. I wonder if you can wash spray paint off, because I wonder if I'll regret doing this and then want to just like have green back one day. It is what it is. Okay, I had more than, I mean, this feels like it's getting empty, but I had enough paint in here. I'm kind of gonna start on the outside of this one while I have the paint. I know there's dirt on the inside, but maybe I should move it. Everything I do that's DIY is so deranged. The more dirt is coming out the bottom than anything else. Okay, the camera stopped recording. It's probably gonna die soon. And I'm almost out of spray paint. So I have a little bit left in here, maybe like a spray or two. So I'm gonna just save that for if I need to touch any of these up. But I managed to get done three small pots, this one large plastic pot here, and then two of the larger green pots. So let me tilt my camera. So I've got, these ones are drying pretty quickly, the first ones I did, so I might just move these off of this tarp. They're not perfect, but usually when they dry, they look decent enough. Ah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you like how I spray painted all these pots and I hope you like them white. I know there's probably gonna be some people that love them green out there, so don't tell me that I should have left them green because I will regret every decision I ever make. I am a Libra. So again, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just wanted it to have a good white out there so that my plants could contrast really well with the pot instead of just blending right in with green and green. So hopefully this will make my plants stand out. And, ah, okay. And I hope, oh my God, I'm like a perfectionist. Every mistake I see, I'm like, ah! anyway. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've ever tried this, but it definitely works. All you need is a can of spray paint that costs like seven bucks, less than $10 to kind of transform your different pots or something that you just don't like and turn it into a different color or freshen it up really. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.